This is Ellie from Magic Beans, and in this video, I'm going to be comparing the Silver Cross Wave with the Upper Baby Vista. These are two great strollers. We're so excited about them. The Upper Baby has been a bestseller at Magic Beans for so many years, but the Silver Cross Wave is a new stroller on the scene, and we're just so excited about it. If you have any questions about either of these strollers or any other stroller, just email me your questions to questions at mbeans.com, or you can leave a comment below. Remember that the Upper Baby Vista and the Silver Cross Wave are available at mbeans.com for free shipping. Here's the review. To my left, we have the Silver Cross Wave, and to my right, we have the Upper Baby Vista. You'll see that they're very similar looking strollers in terms of their look. They both have small wheels on the front and large wheels on the back. For 2017, um, I have a 2016 version here, they are going to be new polyurethane wheels on the back and it's going to be actually a pound and a half lighter and an inch and a half more narrow. The wheelbase of the, the Wave is 23 and a half inches wide and the Vista is 26 and a half inches wide but that's going to go down to 25 inches. So the Silver Cross Wave will be a little bit more narrow even in the 2017 version. They both have peekaboo windows. This is with a magnet and there's a little toggle on the top and this sort of UV coating. The, it's smaller, the window peekaboo window on the Silver Cross Wave is, is smaller. There's, not, there's a mesh on the inside of this and this is just sort of a, a plastic that you can see through. But they also, on the Wave, have this extra air ventilation. So even though you don't have the air ventilation through the window, you have it in this position. So you can choose in the winter just to look at the baby through the plastic or um, in the summer you can have the, the air sort of breathe through which is really nice. They have these really nice finishes on the Wave. Um, nice woven fabric and these faux leather accents on them which I think is, is quite nice. They both have telescoping handlebars. So this has one, two, three, three positions and this one has one, two, three positions. The Wave is 42 and a half, 42 inches high at the, at the highest position and the Vista is 42 inches wide in its highest position. That's interesting, it's an optical illusion. 42, 42. That's interesting. It looks higher but it actually isn't. Let the numbers set you free. Both of the strollers, you have the ability to turn the seats around. You can, um, you can turn the seat around here and you can turn the seat around as well. That clicks in quite nicely. So you can look, both look at the baby. The Wave comes with an interior seat liner, which is nice, and that could be an accessory for the Vista, but it does not come with a seat liner. In terms of the footwells, the Wave is about nine inches in the footwell, and the Vista is about 10 inches in the footwell. So um, as the baby gets bigger, their legs are gonna go down further in, in the Vista. The basket is absolutely much bigger in the Vista, um, rather than the, the um, the Wave. It's not a bad size basket, but it's not, again, this one is like absolutely huge. And remember there's this like spring action so you can actually access the stuff, which is cool. They both come with bassinets included. Let's take a look at those quickly. You have your Wave basket. Again, really nice fabric, really good look. And here is your uh, Vista basket bassinet. This is, these are just prototypes that I'm working with with the Wave. They're redoing the bassinet. So I won't go into this in detail. When I get my actual uh, wave sample, I may do a video all about the bassinet on the Wave. Um, but the, the Vista bassinet has um, air that flows through and it has this pop out sun canopy which is people really like, so that's a nice thing about the Vista one. The, um, this also has a pop out canopy so you can definitely have some sun visor protection on the Wave. But the real differentiator between the two strollers, I think, is how it converts to a double stroller. Now let me show you how to fold these two strollers. So with the Wave, you just push, push the button, the little button on your left with your thumb, and there's two loops, pull that towards you, and that folds right down. And then with the Vista, you actually pull your handlebar all the way out, pull these two triggers on the side, and it actually stands on its own. This one stands, and this one just folds down. In terms of weight, the, the Wave is is quite a bit heavier than the Vista, but the majority of the weight is really in the seat. So if you were to actually remove the seat, you can make it actually a, a little bit smaller and, um, and make it fit um, nicely in your car. To open them back up, there's a little latch on the left side. You lift this right up, 
there's a latch on the interior on the left side, and you lift this right up. The Wave really has a very solid feel to it, which um, I really appreciate, and they both have good suspension. So this suspension here on the Vista, a little bit of suspension, I think there's more suspension on the way, if it seems. But let's show you how it converts to a double stroller. So this is what makes the Wave sort of innovative. Remove the seat, push these buttons, and look, these little adapters move to a higher position, and that does two things. One, when you're using it in the single position, you can have the baby closer to you, but it makes it really easy to convert to a double stroller. It comes with these two adapters, lower adapters included, left side and right side, so you just click them in, click, click. So the nice thing about the Wave is that it can turn into a double stroller without having to buy any accessories. You could take that lower bassinet, and it clicks right in. And then you can take the upper seat and add that in, and now you have this into a nice double stroller. In terms of the Vista, in order to convert it to a double stroller, you need to buy a bunch of different accessories. You need to buy lower adapters if you want to put the bassinet on the bottom. And to turn into a double stroller in general, you need to buy upper adapters. Let me show you what those look like. So here are Vista upper adapters, about $20. And you just line, you just click one in here, other one in here, and now you can make that second seat nice and high. When you add the, uh, add the upper adapters for the Vista, it does sit up higher than the Wave. And then you'd add lower adapters down here and you're able to click in. These are lower adapters, but these are the s different lower adapters. So you need like a different set of lower adapters for the, um, to add the second seat, the, uh, to add the, to add the bassinet on, the, on, on below. Let's look at the rumble seat from the, for the Vista and the second seat for the Silver Cross Wave. Actual stroller seat and the rumble seat are not the same. You'll see that the, the foot pivots on the actual seat and there's no pivot on the rumble seat. And you're able to click it facing out. Uh, facing in. You can't have it in this position where the babies are facing each other. You can't do that on either stroller. Here's the second seat for the Wave. You can tell it's the second seat because it has this sort of curved bottom piece, but it does have a pivoting, it does have a pivoting footrest, which is different from the rumble seat. So let's see the positions. You can put this in. You can have the baby facing, the toddler facing out. I apologize, I don't have the upper and upper weight limits of the different seats. But if you click over to mbeans.com and you click over to the product page, you can click right here. You'll be able to see all of the stats um, about these different strollers. So baby facing out. And then for the upper seat, you can actually have the baby facing you as well have stadium seating. There isn't a great amount of room between the upper seat and the lower seat in this position. Again, this makes this because the stroller is more narrow, more compact from the front to the back, which is gonna make it a lot easier to push around when you have two children in, in the stroller. Whereas with the Vista, let's take a look at that. Since the upper adapter sits up a little bit higher on the Vista, Yeah, also not a fantastic amount of room between the, the front seat and the, and the back seat on the Vista. It's like, it's basically the same. There's like four and a half inches of leg room here, and there's four and a half in inches of leg room there. Okay, so it's the same. Not a big deal. You may be comparing these to the City Select. These tend to be a little bit higher quality, and they maneuver a lot, a lot better because they're a little bit more short than the City Select, which can be a little bit longer. So I hope you liked my review of the Silver Cross Wave and the Upper Baby Vista for 2017. I know you have questions about these strollers, and you may have questions about other strollers, and that's what we're here for. If you have questions, you have to email me your questions at questions at mbeans.com. I really want to answer your questions. You can also leave a comment below if you find that easier. If you haven't checked out the rest of our channel, you have to subscribe today. We have so many videos about strollers and car seats and baby carriers and you name it for your baby. We also have a lot of videos about toys. Remember, 
These strollers are available, are available to purchase at mbeans.com with free shipping. And if you live outside of Massachusetts or Connecticut, you'll save the tax as well. And most importantly, if you live in the Boston area or in the Fairfield, Connecticut area, please visit one of our stores. Come in, take a test drive, meet with one of our gear gurus. We just want to help you. Thanks for watching.